Hi guys, my name is Harsha Chakravarti. I am a software engineer at FICO. Uh, today I will share my interview experience with Publicis Happened. So Publicis Happened is a very good service based organization. They pay very well. Uh, uh, the, and uh, this interview, uh, like this interview opportunity I got from Nokri. The, the recruiter reached me out. Uh, he found my profile. He said, uh, you will be a good fit. You can be a good fit. Okay. Uh, this, now this position, which they were hiring for is was a uh, Salesforce developer position, okay. Uh, but I was a Java guy. The HR said, "We want a guy who is very good uh, in his own stacks. If he, whether he is in Python or he is in Java, he should be very good in uh, in, his, in his current stacks. And uh, we will give him training. And he, later on, he will be shifted to Salesforce. Okay. So that was the agenda." Uh, I said okay, but I knew myself I am not going to join because I don't want to be a Salesforce developer. Uh, like nothing wrong with Salesforce. I just I am a Java guy and I want to stay like that. Okay, so uh, the interview I but I said the interview that it, okay I will be fine if if I get this opportunity I will go for Salesforce. Okay, then the HR scheduled uh, the first technical round. Okay, so there are there were like one technical and one managerial only. Uh, so, the in the first technical round, the interviewer uh, like first uh, asked me to explain about my background, uh, what exactly uh, I was doing in my current project. Uh, I was in cognizant actually, uh, and uh, he asked me to what are my he asked me about my roles and responsibilities, what exactly I was doing, and all these things, and. Uh, then he like then he asked why you want to join as a salesforce uh, guy okay uh, these uh, and uh, this question he asked then he jumped into java okay he asked me the basic oops concept he asked me like he asked me to write down one code for where he can uh, where i can implement uh, uh, inheritance okay so i thought okay this will be a very basic uh, interview okay he was a question, he was asking very easy easy question then he asked me about java 8 okay what are the features of java 8 and all uh, then uh, what is functional interface and uh, then i i explained him up to functional interface but after that he asked me uh, what is consumer supplier function uh, predicate and all okay i had no idea okay about this i told him that i don't know then he asked me about uh, Okay, then he asked me uh, about hash map and hash set. Okay, where we should uh, like uh, where, like uh, what is the uh, and uh, what is the internal working of the hash map and hash set? I didn't know the internal like how the class is designed in hash map and hash set. I just told him that okay, hash map is this key value pair and hash set internally uses hash map. These things I told, but internal working I didn't know. Okay. Uh, next uh, he asked me about uh, okay next he asked me about some design patterns so he asked uh, like he asked me about singleton I, I i i wrote down one code for singleton class to create one class uh, to create one singleton class he was not very impressed with my writing like code writing style uh, <coughs> but although i i like i provided him one singleton class okay Next, he asked me about factory designing. So, uh, when you should uh, use this factory design pattern? I explained him a little bit. Okay, though I didn't know much about this. Uh, then he asked me about. Okay, then he asked me uh, to write down one code for binary search. Okay, like he, I got this question. I thought, okay, this is a very easy question. I will write it down. Okay, simply, simply. I wrote it down, but the code was not working. I fumbled. Okay, but the like interviewer was very good. He he said, okay, calm down. Okay, you will get this. So after few tries, I identified where, where I was doing wrong. I then I made then after few trial, I my code was running. Okay, uh, so thanks to the interviewer, and, uh, and then he asked, so here you are using recursion in binary search. So tell me a situation or whether you are using uh, any recursion in anywhere in your code okay uh, i said no we were we are not using a recursion in our code okay so he said okay fine no problem 
then he asked me about uh, like spring boot annotation okay so he asked me about component service controller and all these the basic annotation which you will also get in any in java interview okay then he asked me okay so, so then he asked me about uh, spring integration so spring integration basically we were using in our current our previous project i was in cognizant there we were using spring integration he asked me few annotation from that um, and uh, then he said that why you guys are using spring integration what is the benefit from spring boot you are getting yeah, then he asked me about the publisher subscriber all these things from spring integration though i was not prepared for these questions because i was preparing spring boot only uh, spring integration i didn't know very well but this the conceptual questions i was able to answer he asked me to designing to, to design one publisher and subscriber like uh, how things are going how one message is going by a channel and all these things uh, i i wasn't able to answer them okay uh, but since i was i was able to give the concept he was okay with that so that was all from the first round uh, i thought the first round like went okay okay not very good not very bad okay but the hr said you have cleared the round then comes the uh, then came the uh, second round like the managerial one okay in the managerial round the interviewer was very senior guy right? okay he was like a very senior manager okay he straight away asked you how you are a java guy from a development background why you want to switch to a sales force okay so i i was not prepared i was not prepared for this uh, because i knew i am not going to join so but i fumbled but somehow i gave him some answer like okay i will join i want to develop my problem solving ability doesn't matter which language which technology i am working on this kind of answer i gave he was okay with that uh, then he asked some basic technical questions like what are the data structures you know uh, what algorithms you know and uh, like what is array list linked list uh, when you should use them <coughs> these kind of <clears throat> this kind of question he asked uh, and then he asked like why you are a buffer resource in your project uh, like are you not performing well uh, and uh, also why uh, like what what exactly you are doing in your project uh, like what kind of testing you do and also he wanted to know that in my own background whether i am doing very good or not okay so he wanted to know that uh, i answered i answered them he was okay okay he was not very impressed okay so uh, but then he he again asked me like uh, okay then he asked me one question like we from publicis happened we will pay you very well uh, for being a sales force a sales force guy but if uh, if after after getting this offer if another company with java position come to you and tell you that okay we'll give you more than publicis happened will you join them i said no i will not join them because uh, if i get this opportunity publicis second is a very good company blah blah i told them okay <laughs> but uh, the interviewer was okay mm, with that also uh, so uh, and, the, and then he explained me about salesforce what will be the journey for me uh, when he started explaining that i knew that i am going to be selected okay i was very happy so yeah and that happened only uh, because after like that was it from the managerial round actually and after like one or two days uh, the hr called me he said you have cleared the round and uh, when he when am i going to uh, <coughs> schedule the hr round for uh, salary discussion i i i told then i, I told him that uh, no sorry i am not going to join i am looking for another opportunity he was very angry uh, he was not very angry he was he was screwed up actually uh, uh, then he 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 told uh, he asked me that why why you did like that uh, he, he told me that you will join and uh, and then you, and now you are not joining i i said i am sorry but i am not going to join okay <coughs> since i i didn't even uh, like i didn't even tell them to generate the offer letter also i just gave these two interviews but uh, the hr was angry but uh, what can be done right now he can't force me to join right so that was it from the whole interview process and i would suggest that please do not do these kind of things because uh, like 
sitting for a interview uh, like interviewing a guy is a long process is a like uh, is a long process for a interviewer and also the company because he is a very senior manager who was taking my interview he invested lot of time he invested around 1 hour for me uh, he selected me and uh, then i am not going to join okay same for the hr the hr reputation uh, the hr reputation gets low for this kind of uh, behavior from the interviewee okay so um, i would suggest that please don't do this kind of things that was a mistake i did and i also regret that okay so uh, i don't support this so that was it from my uh, interview experience with publicity sapien uh, and i have reached 60 subscribers thanks to all of you i will bring more videos like that uh, more videos like this uh, and if you want to know that how i got these much calls from these many interviews uh, these many companies uh, i will make a separate video how can you apply and how, how can you make your uh, profile in nokri okay uh, especially in nokri i am not talking about linkedin Uh, so i will make a separate video on that so uh, <clears throat> until then let me know what uh, if you are getting in benefit uh, from these interviews let me know in the comment section thank you